Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks very much for joining us. And I'm Daniel Pineda. Rich Massab. And a pretty good show lined up for you tonight. Uh, News and Community Bulletin Board, which uh, Daniel and I will present to you. Rich has his reviews. Yep. Yes, including <laughs> a pizza. Including a pizza. When do you bring some pizza Sounds on delicious. the show? Yeah, we, we can have a little pizza. Here. That's right. We I always time. like your food reviews, Rich. Uh, News for seniors, and then we'll wrap it up with uh, Pia Somre, and she's talking with Stuart Rosenthal, who is the publisher of The Beacon. You know that tabloid that right. you see at the drugstores mm-hmm. all over the place? He's the man. He's the man. So that's our show for tonight. And uh, before we get started with our news items, exactly, Mr. Craig, Daniel before we get started, we want to remind you that the Arlington Weekly News is now available on YouTube. Just point your computer to youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News. That's all one word. And like it or not, there we are. We're on YouTube. All for right. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. First of our news items now. Well, if you're concerned about the outbreak of flu, and who isn't these days, whether it's H1N1 or the regular variety flu, mark your calendar for October 28th from 7 to 8 p.m. Then head on over to the County Board Room, which is at 2100 Clarendon Boulevard, on the third floor for a public <coughs> flu forum. You can find out about Arlington County's, Arlington County's, excuse me, flu preparations, what's the difference between the varieties of flu, what to do to get prepared, and more. There'll be representatives from county government, the schools, and local hospitals to answer your questions. For more information, have a look at the county's website, www.arlingtonva.us slash DHS, and look for what to do about the flu. Important information. Daniel. Yes, and Craig, Arlington County is expanding ART bus service in the Columbia Pike Corridor. Buses have been added to the ART 41 route running from Columbia Pike to the Boston and Courthouse areas. The ART 75 route from Wakefield High School to the Boston area over Carlin Springs Road will also be increasing its service. Details are still to be announced and the new Route 77 or ART 77 route connecting Sherlington with Courthouse via South Walter Reed Drive will be continued. ART bus routes and schedules are available on their website. That's commuterpage.com slash ART. Craig. All right, and you've heard rumors and it's true. The Marine Corps Marathon is coming up this weekend. It's a little early this year, but it is in fact this weekend in Arlington County Police have announced the rolling closures of a number of streets in Arlington for the 34th annual Marine Corps Marathon, which takes place this Sunday, October 25th. The race will begin at 8 a.m. on Route 110 between the Pentagon and the Iwo Jima Memorial. The list of street closings is quite long, so we recommend that you check the police, Arlington Police website, www.arlingtonva.us slash police and then click on the link recent news releases for details. Daniel. Yes, Craig, and we would like to take notice of affordable housing developments in Arlington. And here's another. Construction on the views at Clarendon begins next month. This project should add more to the stock of affordable residents that the Arlington Partnership for Affordable Housing has been encouraging in Arlington. The development is within a block of the Orange Lines Clarendon Metro Station, and when it's finished will be Um, will have eight stories of apartment homes. 46 of the apartments will be made available at market rates and 70 more will be affordable. 12 of those houses are to be reserved very low income households. The views at Clarendon will be going for LEED silver certification under U.S. Green Building Council guidelines. And it's to be a smart growth project as defined by the Washington Smart Growth Alliance. You can find out more on their website, viewsatclarendon.com, or to the partnership's website, that's APAH.org. Craig. All right, Daniel, and also on our news items, we've learned that a subsidiary of the Ethiopian Community Development Council will receive a $1 million grant from the Treasury Department. The grant will enable the organization called EDG to make loans, start individual development accounts, and develop financial literacy training. EDG has been in existence since 2000 and has already provided more than $10 million in loans to small businesses. For more information about this organization, check their web, www.entde, 
thegroup.org. <laughs> a mouthful, uh, Craig. That is. And Craig, AHC, formerly the Arlington Housing Corporation and the county's housing division, as well as the participating architects and builders, have been honored by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. The trust gave their advisors award to the groups for their work on the dates of Boston, the garden apartment complex that has been threatened with the demolition not long ago. The complex consists of 464 mixed income residents, of which more than 350 units are to rent at affordable rates. Nine units will house Department of Human Service special needs clients and 10 are accessible to persons with physical disabilities. There's more on their website, preservationnation.org. And finally in our news items, have you ever wanted to be a secret Santa? Well, would you believe that it's about that time to start thinking about that and uh, how you can become a secret Santa yourself? You can mail or hand deliver gift cards by December 18th to the county's Secret Santa program at DHS, Department of Human Services. They're located at 3033 Wilson Boulevard on the seventh floor. Individual gift cards should be worth $50 or less, but you can give as many cards as you like, either designated for a particular group or undesignated. If you have any questions, you can give them a call, 703 228 1775. Daniel.